Nectar DAW integration lets you control Studio One directly from your Panorama T-Series controller. In this video, we'll show you some of the key functionality. Let's run through the controls of Panorama's display and transport section first. The transport section allows you to control all transport functions like stop, play, record, rewind, or fast forward, and loop mode from Panorama's transport buttons. Their current status is indicated by an LED. Hold shift while you press the rewind or fast forward button to set the locators. Loop to jump to the left locator and record to set record modes. Now let's have a look at the buttons around the display area. The track plus and minus buttons Navigate your mixer and sequencer tracks with full parameter feedback on Panorama's display. Holding shift while pressing these buttons will switch to the next or previous bank of eight tracks. Browse opens and closes Studio One's media browser. View opens and closes all floating windows. And focus enlarges the last selected parameter to fill the entire display screen. Mixer assigns the controls to Studio One's mixer. The settings for levels, pan, and sends are now shown on Panorama's display. The mixer button also toggles the visibility of the mixer window. Clicking view reveals or hides the floating windows. Changing to instrument mode assigns Panorama to control your virtual instruments. View will now show or hide the instrument plugins window. The parameters are again visible on Panorama's display. Multi is a button reserved for Nectarine, which we'll discuss in a later video. The internal button gives you access to Panorama's internal MIDI mapping features. Setup gives you access to settings. Setup will also toggle the functions assigned to the display soft buttons in mixer and instrument mode as we'll see later. 